I got tired of people saying like, I, I, was, I was like, it was happening by luck. Like sometimes you gotta, like sometimes you gotta like show that you know something. Right. You can't just be, just go along with it. You know, it's fun. People be happy for you, but sometimes they, they, they take, they think you really don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you gotta show it. Welcome to another episode of BET Talks. I'm your host, Mia Bell, and it is my pleasure to introduce the Brooklyn Knight with all the charisma, and of course the energy, but most importantly, the music. Fabio Foreign, he's in the building. It's Clap not, it up for yourself because not, no. you are putting in the work. Putting in that work, I'm not gonna play with him. This is a new year. Right. A lot of things are changing, mm -hmm. especially for you in so right. many ways. And I kind of want to take it back to 2019 when, of course, you dropped the biggest single that mm -hmm. got everybody on your radar. Yeah. And just how much you've changed yeah. from then to now. I mean, I know it may not seem like a lot of time, but mm -hmm. so much has happened, right? No, uh, yeah, it's, it's in a short period. It's crazy because it's it, 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 it is a lot of time. Mm -hmm. it, it don't seem like a lot of time, but it's been like four years. Right. Right, that's a long time, and I had to grow. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying the world is changing. I can't stay the same. Right. I gotta grow. I gotta learn. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some things that are changing around you? Because, like you said, you've come up mm -hmm. from a lot. Right, right, and right. to have this platform now as an artist mm -hmm. and not just a regular artist because all of the greats recognize the music and of course right. you work with them you work with a lot of up and coming artists you work right. with your peers yeah. and you have it sonically yeah. musically yeah. they know you got it yeah. what has changed with your surroundings and just how you're moving as an individual because i know you're eating right now right. you're doing a lot of different yeah, right. things thinking right um you know, um, I just, I, I, I want to say, I want to say everything changed, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, my mind state changed, you know what I'm saying? My thought process changed. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, like the things around me got to change because the way I respond to things is different. The, the, my, my, my desires is different, you know what I'm saying? Like, my conversations is different. So, like, if, if you don't really catch up to it, Right, it, it's, it's like I don't need you no more. Right. Or like it just not even need you. I just don't. It's just not interested. I'm just right. no use. And I'm on. I'm on 2024 time. Useful. You know what I'm saying everything got to be useful. You got to be woke. You got to be doing something busy, productive. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, before you got to this point, when you were just kind of, you know, in the trap, making your music mm -hmm. and just having fun with everything, what was the mindset then? Um, the mindset um, was just, you know, it was just fun. Yeah. Right? It was just doing it. We were just trying things out. You know what I'm saying? Not really knowing the format of a song even. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and but, it worked. And it worked. <laughs> and it worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me through the grace of God. But I think now in my life, at this period of my life, I'm more intentional. Right. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I think I want, I'm more intentional about the things I do things I say, the way I look, you know what I'm saying? More like, it's not just, okay, whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I, I think I used to I used to be more of like a, all right, whatever. Right, like then, we think we always gonna have this time. Right, like, okay, we could do it like this. All right, cool, whatever. You know and I'm saying more easy going and everybody like, oh, so I love this guy, so easy to deal with. Mm. And sometimes that's not the best, just to be easy to deal with. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be intentional, you gotta, you gotta know what you want, and you gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Not, not specifically that it's gonna be hard to deal with, but you gotta kinda know what you want, which is kinda gonna be harder to deal with than just whatever. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah, to know yeah what it's, you it's want. good. It's good. It's good for me. Yeah. Did something specific happen that brought you to that point? Did you um, wake up and, you know, what kinda made you hit that switch where it's like, yo, I gotta tighten up? Yeah, I mean. I feel like that's the energy all across the board yeah, for 2024. Yeah, that's the energy. I feel like everybody on that time, everybody got to win. It just, it's just the point of, you know, um, I'm, I just, I'm a person where I don't like to lose. You know what I'm saying? I right. went through, um, I went through a phase, in, like I said, in four years, it seemed like a short time, but I went through a phase where, you know, in the beginning, I was dropping music, music, music. I was doing a, a feature with almost every artist in the industry. Yep. Basically where I done did everybody. So it was like no no really people to call left. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Literally saying? Literally from the biggest to the people next to you. Yeah, right. So it's like so it's like you go through that 
and then you get to a point of damn what to do next mm -hmm. and it's not just okay i'm doing it because you know when you just ride in the wave and everybody calling in and you you're doing these big features it, it didn't take no work right you know what i'm saying so so i was kind of like spoiled a little mm -hmm. bit in the game you know what I'm saying? But now it's different. Where now I gotta think about some some things, you know and I'm saying to have a strategy. And I don't like to lose, so right. I, I, I'm more thought out, you know what I'm saying? And I wanna be more intentional than just, yeah, all right, come on, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And I think that's what happened. Like, I just went through a phase of, you know, like not really dropping music. And I got to sit back and I see, and then I see the phone call slow down. And I see, you know what I'm saying, okay, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, and then it gave me time to think. I'm saying, yeah, I like like to get the phone calls. I'm mm -hmm. saying so, and also you're now you got to prove something to yourself in right, another 100%, 100%, way. Right, hundred percent, hundred percent. Where you got to switch it up. You got to prove it to yourself and challenge yourself because you know what I'm saying, yeah, you got you blessed, we blessed. You know what I'm saying, but we got to put that work in. You know what I'm right. saying we ain't gonna just be lucky yeah. all the time. You know what I'm saying, got to put that work in. Absolutely. Now with the new music that you're about to drop. Yeah. Pain and Love too, mm -hmm. of course. But besides that, I feel like you're on new timing. More new timing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm You're real better. serious right now. Serious, I'm even better. You know I'm saying I'm more focused, focus-minded. Mm -hmm. I'm saying hitting the gym, working out, clearing my shit out, taking my vitamins. Yeah? Yeah, well, I'm taking my vitamins now. I love that. More energy. Who put you on, Styles P? Nah, Farms hell no. For life? No, he <laughs> nah. hasn't. Because you know he has his pharmacy and all that kind he of do? stuff. He Yes, with the vitamins and all of that. I'm actually going to hit him after this so oh, I can I, get I right. I take some. What he got? He so, got CMOS and all that? All of that. Oh, word? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I take some of that. That's what I've been doing. You know I'm saying ever since the COVID, too. Uh-huh. COVID made me tighten up with my health and shit, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've seen people dropping, and I, I kind of like caught the COVID in the right. beginning, but I, I beat it. You know and saying? at that time, it was really scary because we didn't yeah, know what no, happened. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me tighten this up real fast. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You just want to just wanna separate from a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that separation, has it been working for you? Are you seeing the light in a new way where I'm it's seeing, like... I'm seeing it. I'm saying I'm happy with it. I'm happy with who I'm becoming. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with the things that's happening for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's working out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just keep praying. Yeah. I love to see this side of you. Word, because people don't really know that. They don't. They think I'm be wild animal. No, seriously. <laughs> or like, know. you know, they, you play around a lot, or it's just fun, it's games, but mm -hmm. when it comes to the music, I think, you know, you have your track record in that, and no one can say that you don't do what you do well. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So to see this side of you yeah. and with the music, because you're really talking your talk, yeah. you're getting serious, you're getting vulnerable, yeah, right. which is really important. Yeah, then, then I, don't tell me, I got tired of people saying like, I, I, was, I was like, it was happening by luck. Like sometimes you gotta, like sometimes you gotta like show that you know something. Right. You can't just be, just go along with it. You know, it's fun. People be happy for you, but sometimes they, they, they take, they think you really don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you gotta show it. You gotta show. Sometimes you just gotta show it. You gotta just put the work out there. You gotta be serious. You gotta talk assertive and you gotta, this is what you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. And I think they're gonna feel all of that, especially in this conversation that we're having now. Hell yeah. Now, I listen to the new music. New music is a movie. Mm hmm. It is. Yeah, yeah. And you getting real serious on there. Yeah, yeah. You're addressing a lot of trauma. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. You are addressing your lifestyle and a lot that's been happening around you mm -hmm. and how you want to move forward and at first i'm not gonna hold you i was listening to the joint with meek mm -hmm. same two four same 24 yeah. right yeah. we have the same 24 hours to do the same thing that's a fact. and the way that you've taken advantage of your 24 of course has been different from a lot of people mm -hmm. not just in your space but just in general that's why you are where you are mm -hmm. right and listening to the joint i was feeling bad because i'm like why is this happening as far as like you know people taking advantage people feeling entitled and all those things mm -hmm. but then you end it with the confidence where you know people none sign. of that's going to stop you yeah never going to stop me so what it is is right right what it's it calling is, it out yeah it's like you know what i'm saying it's more so you know what i'm saying telling my telling my piece and i feel like people need to hear it you know yeah. what i'm saying because i know it's a lot of people that go through what i go through and it stopped them and they probably feel cuz what happened with me in the beginning i felt like I was, I, I felt like, like I was supposed to, like when they was feeling entitled, mm -hmm. I was feeling like they was right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like you have to help in that way. And I felt like I had to it's help. It's survivor's guilt. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, but then I noticed it wasn't making nobody happy. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So it, was, it wasn't like I was trying to do all the right things and I'm doing all the right things and I'm like, yo, here, take this and I'm buying this chains and making sure this how this person got a crib. You said you iced out the game before you iced out your kids. That's a fact. Um, it was one of the worst, dumbest things I ever did in my life. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I didn't know no better and I thought that that was the right way to live and I thought that that was the right things to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I bought um, 15 um, foreign side label pieces. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For people, 15 of them. You know I'm saying it was like uh, like 5,500 a piece. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So you do the math before I even bought my, my kids jewelry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These diamonds, like, you know what I'm saying? And I just think I was just, I was, I was my priorities was fucked up. You right. know what I'm saying? I'd never do it again. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret doing it because it, it taught me what I needed to know now. Mm -hmm. But I just think that was a dumbass decision. That was immature of me. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like I, these are the people that was around me when I was winning. You know what I'm saying? Here, they here, is in my face. I, everything is happening fast. Take this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, the kid's good. They don't think about jury, but you know what I'm saying? I just had to put things in perspective of priority. Right. Prioritize my life. And but, what have you learned from doing that as far as it goes to you? Because, of mm -hmm. course, you were prioritizing others and yeah. trying to make sure that everybody around you was good. Yeah. And then how was it reflecting in your image and what you were doing? Yeah, were you right. getting that back? Right. Were right. you receiving? So, that's so so yeah, that's, so that's one of the things that really made me stop. Mm -hmm. Was the unappreciative from people mm -hmm. unappreciating the shit. And you feel me? And, like... And, and not counting it as something that valuable or something that they like, I right, thank you. And, you know, it's still like, damn, this nigga ain't doing nothing for niggas. And this nigga ain't, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and it's pouring just like, into you in other ways, because that's always yeah, good too. Yeah, and, and then it's like, damn, like, you you feel like I ain't do nothing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, I could have took that and gave that to my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Or anything else. Right. I'm saying, aunt, a friend, like anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just. Or invested it back in your stuff. Or invested it into <laughs> myself, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really like a person like that. Like, I'm. Like, I'm a person that I always think about other people before me. Of like, course. for me, I'm always going to break bread and, and make sure people be good. I just can't just eat and sit back and get fat on people. Like, yeah. I always hold people down. So I'm thinking about if I ain't, like, the next person to give it to, I'm never going to think just to keep it. And, and you know, maybe in the future I grow into that person. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's more selfish with myself and just making sure I'm good. But, yeah, I, I just... I just try to figure out who can I like help. I right, this it's not working for you. I'm help this person mm -hmm. instead. Yeah. Instead of like saying, you know what, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna focus on myself. Yeah. I'm saying the most thing I do for myself might be like you know like help like my health. I think mm -hmm. that's the most things I do for myself. Everything yeah. else I share. Of course, and that's beautiful to do. Yeah. But let me tell you something. If you are not in position to do all of that, then nobody's gonna be able to eat. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so you have to take care of you first. And it's about to turn into a therapy session yeah, because yeah. it's important. Nah, that's and fine. that's the only way that you can give to others in the best light is when you take care of yourself in the best way. And I think you're doing a great job at transforming into that person because mm -hmm. it's happening in the music. You're mm -hmm. giving us a whole different energy. Yeah. Um, let's take it to No Love Lost yeah. with Vori. Yeah, I love good. that collab, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you about to be a dream chaser? Because I feel like <laughs> this energy. I'm that energy. No, I think what it is is it's just like it's a lot. You guys of, mesh. It's, yeah, it's a lot of the same energy over mm -hmm. there. I think it's a lot of the same struggles. You know what I'm saying? We come from the same type of environments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sonically, though, it sounds so good. And, and I, that's, what I, that's what I think it is. I think it's the relationship mm -hmm. makes it easier to make the music. Like, I, like, I, like 2024, too, I'm, I'm, I'm more, like, I did a lot of features, and I sold a lot of features, too. Like, um, I let people buy features. And shit. I, I want to be more, like, relationship with it, like, vibe with you mm -hmm. to do a song instead of like business, because I want to make it into something. Like I'm I'm more, like I said, I want to be more intentional before I'm just doing it. All right, get a check, I don't care, put it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? You put a whack, a song out, that could be detrimental for your career. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even about the money. It's about like putting out good music, you know what I'm saying, and, and good art. You know what I'm saying? To have something to really lead in for the people to listen to and love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, and we feel that. And I like Bori. Bori's movie, like, he sound like a movie. Yeah. Like, wow. Super but dope. It's a, nah, but I, I, I meet my brother. Yeah. Uh, I ain't gonna you know, dream chaser. Yeah. But I, I, I'm a dream chaser, though. Yeah. I mean, I chase my dreams. Of course. Dream chaser, I'm a dream catcher. 
I love that. You know, and you know, all my life, you know what I'm saying, we growing up, we we all looked up to Meek. If you coming from the trenches, you come from the hood, he was one of the, like, the poster boys for that, that you can make it out, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So... I seen a tweet Working that you compared you to Meek as the New oh, York yeah. version of oh, that. Yeah, Did you yeah, see that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know what they was like getting at. Like which part would have it made me the New York Meek. I but think I, I was jacking it though. I'm like, damn, that's an honor. Right. <laughs> what, what you think? Bro? I think musically, oh, music as far as like, I mean, the other side, look. <laughs> I think everyone should say less yeah. when it comes to social media. <laughs> I think everyone can take that advice, yeah, yeah, including yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> But I initially thought music only because mm -hmm. you feel it. It's from the streets. Yeah. You feel the pain. Yeah, that's a fact. You feel the pain. And in a good way, though. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what I took from it. And hearing you guys on Same 24, it, it solidified it's that crazy. for me. Yeah. And I think when people hear it, they're going to mm -hmm. see a different version of you where it's like, oh, nah, he's serious. Yeah, and that's like that. And that's one of my favorite features. Like, period. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying in the industry, like, you know what I'm saying? Me, yeah. That's one of them guys. You feel me? That's one of them guys. Yeah. So it's like, it's one of my favorite joints. Like, I feel, I feel like that's an accomplishment mm -hmm. for me. I think in this music too, not only those joints that we mentioned, you're talking a lot about your lifestyle and just how you communicate with others too. I mm -hmm. think it was with No Love Lost where you, you know, if you arguing with somebody or if you putting uh, the energy into telling somebody well, something. Really listening to come you on, that's now. what I do, okay. baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm a communicator, yeah. but if you're really, you know, mm -hmm. when you give somebody that energy, it's because you care, it's our love. Mm -hmm. When you don't, would you say Yeah, that's... like if I argue with you, then it's tough love. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, if you, if you, if you stop hearing from me, and I'm and I stopped like arguing with you. You know what I'm saying I kind of like gave up. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like because you know I just feel like I just feel like um, we all grown. Right. You know what I'm saying we Facts. all we all know right from wrong. Like Facts. we ain't gonna act like we kids. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I, I don't I don't I'm not here to correct nobody or cheat them like kids all day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying like it just you get to a certain point where you just want to move forward and you want pr productivity in your life. Yeah. Are you still giving that tough love to people around you, or mm -hmm. are you in a space where you kind of left all that behind and you're just yeah, on I'm, a new I'm, trajectory? I'm, I'm, I'm focusing my energy on like family. Yeah. I got three kids. I'm saying. Three. Come on. Like I, I can't. Like I can't. Yeah, I can't. I don't have energy for like people. Right. Yeah. You have. I got kids. <laughs> you have a family. Yeah. It's like it's, like, it's <laughs> over. Like I, don't, I got kids, so it's like. I, that's where my energy is at. You know what I'm saying if I'm if I'm gonna argue with somebody or try to teach somebody something, it's gonna be them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying anything else. If you ain't learned it by now, I can't help you. Right. What Into is Fabio like as a dad? Oh, like a dad. Mm -hmm. How are you with your kids? You give them everything they want. You spoil them. Um, <laughs> I think I think my daughters run all over me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah, my son, my son, he two years old. He he like bad, but I, I be trying to like trying to be hard with him. I try not to treat him like I treat my daughters. Mm -hmm. Try to be more. You know what I'm saying, but his mother treat him like a, a, a baby. Cause he is. <laughs> nah, he a baby. Uh huh. Guy. I'm saying like he a man though. <laughs> like, Whatever. <laughs> He's still a baby. We gonna leave it there. Nah, all right. <laughs> Fabio the dad. Yeah, 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 I'm like, I'm a softie, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a softie with the girls. Mm-hmm, yeah. we know. And you said we're gonna get more of that on the project in February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you would love to drop on Valentine's Day because you're such a lover. Yeah, because you know it's <laughs> pain love. I'm an Aries, like, it's hard for me not to... First of all, know. Aries are the worst kind of lovers. <laughs> I'm gonna say that, and I said it before on camera. Nah, we just selfish. You gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta. It's like you gotta have, you gotta know. If we just selfish, we but we got, we love you. It's just, you know what it is that Aries what? is like this. This is what Aries is. We don't really ex say it and express the love. You know what I'm saying? We we just love you. Like, don't look <laughs> for me to say it, though. Right, right, right. I, I do you said it you. once, and then yeah, seven years later, you. that's it. Yeah, I think about <laughs> you. I do things for you. I love you because that's why I'm with you. Like, I, I don't, like, that's why even, like, friends, family, relationship-wise, like, like, I, like I, I'm not really here to keep reminding people how I feel about them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, we around each other because I'm selfish with my body. Like, I don't like to be around people. Right. So we around each other, I fuck with you. Just right. leave it at that. 
Yeah. Right? You don't want to over explain and do all that. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, people. Well, reassurance is nice. First reassurance. time people, but that's why I don't deal with everything. So <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with me. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, what are some features that we can expect on the new project that we're all waiting for? Um, some features that you um, can mention, of course. Um, I already a feature, a feature that I really, really like is Sway Lee. Okay. I got Sway Lee on the joint. So I, lo- I love Sway Lee. Energy is fire. He, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He writes his own music. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a real artist. Um, Are there any other sounds that you would want to tap into? Like Afrobeat? Yeah, yeah. I, I, definitely, I definitely got... I definitely got a song on there with that's an Afro drill beat. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's an Afro drill joint, and I like it. One of my favorite joints. Mm. You know what I'm saying I shot the video in Dubai. Nice. One of my favorite joints, and I like. Yeah, I want to tap all the way into that Afro world. I mean, like everything else. Like I kind of did. Mm. I kind of did everything else already too, yeah. but I like it. Like this drill is my 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 heart. You know what I'm saying, but I just like to expand. I like to do all new things all the time. Right. Like, that's what I just like I do. Spontaneous shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's a new year. Before mm-hmm. we wrap, two, four, what do the numbers mean to you? Because I saw <laughs> you're really tapping into, you know, like you said, being intentional yeah. about everything yeah. and living every day intentionally. Yeah. This new year, mm-hmm. new you, we working out, we eating different, yeah. we're doing a lot of things. We're being vulnerable. Yeah. You done got real deep here. You showing that side because mm-hmm. you, for me, you got to show that side because it's true, it's real. And I'm saying we, we humans and we wake up every day and you don't always feel like you want to party. You don't always feel like you mad at somebody. You don't always feel uh, like you want to be in a relationship. You don't always feel like you hate a bitch there. Right. So I feel like it, it, like I just wanted to show all of my emotions. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want it like, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you get to, when you come out a certain way, the people who try to subconsciously box you in. Yeah. Like you this artist only. And you're this person only. But I'm saying you wanna be free. You wanna be open. I'm saying you wanna be able to laugh, cry, be happy, I'm saying, be serious, like be relaxed at moments. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we own for me. It's human. But the nature. 24, what the 24 mean to me? Mm-hmm. Like you know, it just I don't know. I was I was fake. I was googling it too, cause I keep popping up right now. Twenty four yeah. keep popping up, so I'm like, damn, I'm, that never must mean something. And they, and they just was saying on the Google joint that it means like being woke, yeah, and being like aware and, and knowing what you want, like intentional. Yeah. So I think that's what it, that's what this year is about. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we, we let the we let the spirit and we let God guide us too same same time, but mm-hmm. still gotta know what you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Are you extremely prayerful? Yeah, extremely I pray every day. Mm-hmm. All throughout the day too. You let Two that times energy like all day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Two I'm times. Like, I might go, yeah, thank you, Lord, today. I might go, thank you, Lord. Oh God, <laughs> um praise police ain't behind me. Like are you saying? Mm-hmm. I just pray for every little thing. I just Pray for everything. I sometimes I be doing things. I be doing it too much. Like, right. damn. You can never do too much. I don't want to OD. Yeah, I don't want to OD. I like, I'm act, <laughs> acting off for every little thing. Yeah. But yeah, I be praying a lot. Of course, and we yeah. feel the energy. Yeah. I'm really excited about all the new stuff that you have coming. I can't wait for the world to see this side of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you did Me it too. again. Viral. Viral movie. Movie. <laughs> Boom. You know what it is? BT yeah. Talk Show. I be out for it. Thank you. Of course, this was great. Thank you, sis. <laughs> Come on. Yeah.